good idea. It's pathetic like you. Three sets of foster parents in one day. Normally you can't even find one. It is an unusual idea. We have discussed this. We need to make one big push for Tracy. And Tracy, please try and make a good impression. You know, sometimes I think you can come over as a bit loud. And I, I know that underneath you're actually... Louder! Tracy, stop trying to be loud. I wasn't! You were! I wasn't! You were! I wasn't! Tracy, it's worth a try. We'll be meeting all the foster parents today at the Science Museum. I can't wait. What do you know about nuclear physics, Trace? Don't call me Trace. Sorry, Tracy. They're doing a talk about the atom in the lecture theatre. It'll blow your mind, won't it, Jemima? Dave's a physicist, Trace. Tracy! My name is Tracy Beaker. Oh, hey, watch out, Durbrain. Watch out yourself, toilet brush. Durbrain? Jake, I think she likes you. I uh, apologise for my son's behaviour. I'm just here to pay for any damage and clean up the mess. <laughs> hey. Nice clogs. Tracy, it's not your fault you dropped the nucleus. Guess what, she didn't have to throw the protons at the facilitator, did she? Why don't you just stick your pathetic protons right off your nose? Hi, hey, everyone, having fun? I've had more fun at the dentist. OK, you two, time's up. I'm ready for the next lot. I'm going back to the lecture. He's very highly strung. Tracy, what have you done? What? They're called Ron and Gwen. They're very nice. They've got a caravan in Wales. Tracy? Tracy, did you hear me? They've got a caravan in Wales. I'm just going to go for a little wonder. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, well, hello, Arlene! <laughs> hey, hello, oh, oh. Ron and Gwen, hi. Yeah, parking, Helene. Parking is a science. You need to study it. Tracy, Tracy, how are you, my love? Let's take a look at you. Oh. Oh, get off me! You know, it took Gwen 13 times before she squeezed the car until they lost its face. Come on, Ron, Tracy doesn't want to talk about parking. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, I suppose not. What would you say to a spot and not before we overexert ourselves? Hey, come on, come on. Come on, Tracy. Tracy! Tracy! What? Can't beat brown sauce. <laughs> Sauce. She's always having seconds. Well, it's up, Elaine. We want to make a good impression. You see, Tracy, I like the open air life myself. We've got a caravan. Really? Would that caravan be in Wales, Ron? Oh, as a matter of fact, it is. Well, we keep it in a field near Spottyostwith. Do you know Spottyostwith? I'm not sure I do, but. It sounds fantastic. Oh, she's lovely, isn't she, Elaine? You'll be sorry to see her go. She can't <laughs> wait to get rid of me. Of 
Come on, Elaine, eat up. I... I think I need to go to the bathroom. I do hope you'll excuse me. No, not on your own, you... So do I. She's great, isn't she? Dreadful. Obnoxious. I promise I'll be good with the next lot. If I trust you, Tracy. Of course you can, Elaine. I just think we need to give each other a little bit of space. the night sky, the stars in all their glory as you've never seen them before. Here in the planetarium, we bring you a perfect view of the constellations of our galaxy. And brightest of all, the star system Beakerus, named after the great astronomer Tracy Beaker. Pale in comparison is Ursa Major, also known as the Great Bear. And there's Orion, the hunter. Hi, Durbrain. Hello, what's your name? Tracy. Could Tracy Beaker please report to reception? Your guardian is waiting for you. Uh, Tracy who? Tracy Snodgrass. Ah. Uh, you sure? All right, I am Trace Beaker. The Trace Beaker. I ran off. They kept on snogging in the planetarium. It was disgusting. Yeah.
What were you thinking of? It was your stupid idea. Tracy, what are we going to do with you? Kids, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's grab a coffee. You look like you need one. D I don't think... Uh, don't worry about them. They'll be all right on their own for a bit. Come on. for the lift. We really appreciate it, don't we, Tracy? Yeah, thanks. Come on, Jake, come in. Well, I think we'd be better making a move. Oh, come on, you've got to meet Jackie Crash and the others. There's Justin, your hater, obviously, but there's Bouncer and he's okay. Then there's Hayley and, well, she's just quiet, and then Shelley's in charge, but she doesn't know everything. And hi, Shelley. Who's this? Um, these are my good friends, Jake and Tom, and um, we met them at the museum. Elaine, you didn't take Tracy in a car with strangers. Well, it, it, it seemed um, t Tom here very kindly offered to... I offered to give him a lift um, after coffee. Coffee? My, you have been busy. Well, quite frankly, Tracy... Volcano girl! I can be as loud as the rest. I can be noticed. I can be noisy. I can scream and shout. Volcano girl! Excuse me. And you said I needed a beef or a bell. And you took my drink. Hayley, have we been ignoring you? I want my bubble back. Can Volcano go chill out for five and take a vacation from eruption? Speaker. You do know that every Tracy Beaker episode starts with a bang! Mama! I won't do it. She can't make me. What are you talking about? And they want me to meet some new foster parents. Well, that is a traditional way out of here. What will Grandpa think? Don't worry. It's like buying a raffle ticket. You never win. I met three lots in one day last week at the Science Museum. What were they like? Horrible. Scary. I mean, these people I just bumped into were a zillion times better than anything Elaine can come up with. They were a laugh. Hi, Derbrain. Hmm. You'll probably need to never see them again, will you? Well, actually, I have a hunch I might. <coughs> Sorry. Hi. Hi. Is that Tracy Beaker in? Uh, yeah. Look, whatever she's done, I'm sure she didn't mean it. And we'll pay for the damages unless it's like thousands and then... Nathan! We'll... Thank you, I'll take it from here. Thank you. I didn't think I'd be seeing you lot again. Well, uh, you left your jacket in our car. Did I? Thanks for bringing it back. Come in. <laughs> nice. Could use a suit of armour. <laughs> well, where's your stuff, actually? So if you want I've decided. You're not a dare brain after all. Yeah? You're a spam head. I'm not. Anyway, you're a care kid. Uh, Mr. Tact, what do you want to be when you grow up? You own Peacekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pit in the cellar where they throw us a night. Wanna see? Yeah. Uh, we really have to go. Sorry. Wouldn't want to be late now, would you? For what? Dentist. He'll be up at the park later. Want to come? <gasps> yeah. If, if I have time. Let him live. Okay, tell me. 
tell me all you know about dads and brothers. Brothers, silch. Dads, they're more like dogs. Dogs. Feed them, keep them exercised. Watch. Dad! <laughs> Drop it. Good dad. I'll see you later. I'll be back about five. Take you to dinner. Sorted. And now for brothers. Brothers? Yeah, what do they like doing? Don't know. We always like the wrestle, eh, long. Yeah, that's right. See, I get him like this. Uh, yeah, now I get him back like this. Oh, oh the fun we had. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> rubbish at footy. Time we started training him then. Ah, uh, none of those for Jake. Uh, he had to have a filling. Just one. Uh-uh. Don't worry, they're for you. Drop it. Good, Tom. Here you go. He's <coughs> a good boy. Good, Tom. Clever, Tom. <gasps> now fetch. Um, are you taking the mick or something? No. Right, then this is some kind of joke, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just, just my little joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mad, isn't she, Jake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just, I'll just go get that. <laughs> Justine. What you've been doing? We went to the circus. It was really funny. Carl got lost, and Mum found him with his head in a bag of peanuts. Oh, Mum did, did she? And what did Mum do then? What's eating you? My dad keeps taking me out. Took me swimming, brought me sweets, gave me money for clothes. And the problem is, he's never that nice. He bought me a birthday card before my birthday. He like never remembers. Makes me feel a titch better. I don't get it. It's carrying a new baby. Dad feels guilty. They're taking me out to dinner tonight. I reckon it's bad news. One thing a new mum needs. Help. <laughs> Babies. Yuck. Hey, wanna wrestle? Yeah, but I might hurt you. You? Don't make me laugh. I warn you, my hands are lethal weapons. Hiya! Never a dull moment with you around, is there? Ah, oh, right. Okay, then. Back to the dentist. Sorry. It's no one's fault. Jake just hasn't met a girl as tough as you before. Come on. Hey! Shh. See you later. Got the nappy? Check. Slip it under baby and bring the front gently up between oh. his legs. Get Lie still, Marco. You said you'd do this for a bag of sweets. If baby wriggles, speak to him soothingly. Lie still, or I'll thump you. I'll get you in my hammerlock and twist your face off. Or try distracting him with a small toy. <laughs> you didn't keep your sweets. <laughs> that was rubbish. Will you help us, Haley? I'll show you what a real baby's like. Ah! What's that problem? 
problem? Hey. That's what you have to find out. Hey, what's your problem? I'm a baby, I can't talk. What's the matter? <laughs> I know, you're the expert. I have to go. <sighs> you can't leave me. Sorry. It's okay, you'll do fine. Remember, stay calm. The baby can sense fear. to make up for knocking his filling out. Filling? So eating too much drunk. Why not make him something wholesome? Wholesome? <sighs> okay, Tracy. Meet Mr. Lettuce. I know everything about lettuce. How do you cook it? You don't. You wash it. Make a nice salad. And then a chalky sponge. Oh, fruit. Did I mention I want them to like me? I don't believe it, you again. Uh, Jake said you went off with his cat. Sorry, was that yours? Um. I'll just go get it. Come in, I was just whipping up something ultra wholesome to eat. No, we really can't stop. Hello, Tom. Oh, hi, Elaine. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, just, just picking something up. Yeah, I mean, Tracy was just asking us in, but we're going to have to go now. Cause... Uh, no, no, no. Do come in. I'll show you around my patch. Well, um... I... Really, it's, it's not as grim as you'd think. Uh, well, <laughs> all right, just for a bit. <laughs> yes. Can we see the pit in the cellar? Wow, she's actually good for something. Um, I'll just be a minute. I hope you like salad as much as I do. Great. Right. It's too hot. It's too cold. Bored. Wet. Oh. Tired. No. Out of my way, emergency! For the baby. Baby? Long story. Uh. <laughs> That's me, girl. <laughs> Hello, love. Is there anywhere we can have a little chat? Might as well get it over with. Never had a younger brother before then, eh? Hmm. Frightening, isn't it? Come on, let's get you cleaned up. Hey, um, we're going to the circus Saturday. Do you want to come? Well, after all this? We like excitement, don't we, Jake? As long as you two promise not to outdo the clowns. <laughs> yeah, please come, Tracy. All right. Ah, great. Um, give us a call. Uh, Elaine's got a number. Uh, wait, yes, I'll have to just show you where to get you cleaned up. Tracy, floor, clean it. Bet you've guessed what this is about. I've got an idea. Here, we thought you'd like to help choose. I don't want to choose colours for the baby's bedroom, right? Why not? There isn't space for both of us. That's what you want to tell me. That's why you've been treating me so nice. I feel guilty. The colours for your room, love. That's right. We want you to move in. Next week? <laughs> hey, it's OK, kiddo. It's my fault. I won't be letting you down again. Promise. I'm moving in with Dad and Gary. What else is new? If they want me next week, I am out to here, man. Actually, I might be leaving soon myself. Yeah? Let's just call it a hunch. <laughs> <laughs> 